The book of Exodus shows us God's covenant at the Sinai, through which God freed his people from slavery in Egypt and made the alliance with his Decalogue. Previously, we heard in the first Sunday of Lent God's universal covenant with Noah, and also we heard how God renewed his alliance with Abraham in the second Sunday. God's love, mercy, and compassion for his people are so perfect that he made these alliances with us to be closer to him and free us from any kind of slavery. Finally, God sent us his ultimate perfect and eternal covenant, his only son, Jesus Christ, who is faithful to his father, who doesn't hesitate to expel merchants from the sacred temple of his father and who will be crucified and rise from the dead. Jesus' resurrection will become the spiritual temple where he will worship in spirit and truth, according to John chapter 4, verse 23. Jesus is for us Christians, as St. Paul says in the first letter to the Corinthians, the power and wisdom of God. Thus, in this third Sunday of Lent, we are invited to, first, be faithful to God by rejecting the false gods which make us a slave, lost, and aloof from God. Second, pray with confidence to God who is living in our hearts, which is our inner temple of God. And third, to love, respect, and do fair deeds to our family members, neighbors, and friends, especially the needy in our faith community and in society. Let us continue preparing ourselves during Lent with a humble heart and open ears, repeating what the Psalm 18 says, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. <laughs>